Yo, what's going down, Commanders? Hope everyone's doing fine on this. Fine, I think it's Wednesday. Um, I just just another rambling video, really, and it's it's about the missions and and the set parameters that Kicks I've put into these missions. Don't make a lot of sense, well, to me anyway. Um, you can earn a blood for him once a week. Great, brilliant. I've got no arguments with it, and it's it's nice to see Kicks I refresh this down here. I think. I think they can improve on it as well. Um, there's also the uh, universal repair logistic. Again, no qualms about that. My qualms are with what isn't in there and the, the abundance of medals, basically. And it's, you know, we've got one, we've got two missions that are, one's a blood for him, one's a uh, universal, uh, universal build logistic. And then we've got three missions there and three missions there that are all Medal based. I don't think they change. I just want to check. I'm going to collect all these. I don't need these medals, but so that's medals again. That's medals again. That's medals again. If I reject that, does that cost me anything? That's medals. That's medals again. And that one's gone blank on me. And it's going to, it's asking me for one coin to refresh. Right, so this one again is medals. I'm going to re reject that, and that's going to ask me for one coin. Two coins for that one. So the PV ones, PvP ones asking me for two coins to earn medals. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that one. This, again, it's... Let's reject it, see if it asks me for coins. Nope. It's giving me something. Fifty thousand medals. Right, my argument is is why why are they why are they being tight? Why isn't the PvP one you know, once a week you are, you can earn a blood for him. Once a week you can earn a, a jackal or a war horse or a fight I mean, it may be a bit too soon to put the fighter in there, but a jackal or a war horse would be fair. Why not once a week they can earn a, a an upgrade token? Or logistic, whatever they call them nowadays, for the jackal, the warhorse, you know, in the PV within the PVP set. Once a week, it wouldn't harm. And it this is the problem: is is the new players, the returning players, and the mid level players. A lot of them can't do these PVP events, these skirmish, uh, sector breach. So they need to be they need to be drip fed a little bit of the units to then be able to play the event. You're not going to gain coiners by keeping them from that event. So it just makes sense to me. It, it's not rocket science. It makes sense if you're making sure, and that that would make sure that Kicks I wouldn't have to give out a free pack if there was a way to earn these units. You wouldn't you wouldn't have to give them tons, you know. Make it make sure it's only a, a limit of them. Once they've hit the limit, they they have to get them from the event itself. But it it needs to be put in there. It definitely needs to be put in there. Don't forget, every skirmish, there's another new unit coming out. So you're, you're putting them further and further behind by, by tying one hand behind their back all the time. And it's the same with this. This could be updated. It doesn't need to be all medals. I don't get why they would make them all medals. It, you know, uh, and just one universal up, uh, repair logistic. It could be upgrade logistics for, for some of the, the standard units, Akumas, um, what else... You know, Akuma's the, the free vehicles. So the first ones that come out of Series 2. Which would be... Akuma. Crucica Boomers. They should be able to earn upgrade logistics and the unit itself. I know it's, it's kind of detrimental because you've got them in the gear store. But it could still be a prize within that to make, make these players want to play the missions out. So they're hitting bases, PVE bases on the map. I just don't get it. I don't get why they wouldn't want the pla the newer, the returning, the, the mid-level players to be able to play everything that they're putting out in the game. Especially with the the skirmish. So that it, really they need to make sure that the players can get their hands on the, the free air for the next skirmish. You need to be, you need to be able to get them. So that would be another way for them to get them. I, know, I do understand that they're in the gear store. They're not in my gear store because I've got them. But it could be another way of, of making sure the players can play this next coming event, coming to skirmish. 
You know, I've got a guy that's riding with me. He's been with me for about a month, maybe two months. He hasn't even been offered a generation pack for his base. So the generation was the original base upgrade. I think there might have been one before that, but the generation one was was the big one, the first step to becoming being able to play the game. He hadn't even been offered that. So he hasn't been offered that. He hasn't been offered the um, the Wasit one, these, uh, what they called series pack. He cannot play any event, any but he's still trying to play. He's still trying to... St we keep telling him he's going to be offered it. He's going to be offered it sooner or later. And every week goes by, he's still not being offered it. They've got to make sure that pack's being put into the game quite regular. Especially if the guy's finished the... Where he's locked in the sector. He's done all that. So he's jumping about now. And he's... he's he just can't play any of the events because he hasn't got none of the buildings up to a standard where he can build the new units. It, it don't make no sense to me. <laughs> Anyway, ramble over. I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully, I've got your thought process thinking and you guys can add to what I've said. You know, think of other things that kicks I can offer within the missions because it's very limited right now. You've got two, uh, two weekly prizes and then the rest is medals, which is sad. But anyway, take care all. Bye-bye.